All right, so uh, these are some simple, easy little tricks I've done to my SD Silver Sky um, to kind of make it like a dead spec uh, without having to spend the thousands of dollars I'm sure that costs. Uh, I think it was limited, so now it's all in the aftermarket. People, you know, who knows what price it's going to go to? Probably astronomical. Um, but yeah, very quick video, very easy, simple. Um, first things first, truss rod cover. I was, I rushed into getting that. When I first got the guitar, I found an actual Silver Sky, you know, core model truss rod cover for like 12 bucks. So I was like, I'll just buy that, whatever. And of course, PRS does what PRS does. And it's just slightly too small. So it doesn't cover the gap there. Um, which, honestly, my eyes have become blind to it. I don't really care anyway. Um, but I'm sure you might. And now they make somebody, I, I want to say on Etsy or Reverb, somewhere easy to find, somebody makes a cover for the Etsy's that are just like in the core model style that will fit properly, which I need to get, but I haven't yet. So that's one. That's not even necessarily dead spec, you know, oriented, but... Two is obviously the uh, truss rod, or truss rod, the uh, the string bar. So that I got for, I want to say like $8 on Amazon. Um, I did a terrible job putting it on, um, but that's, you know, it's neither here nor there. It, I got it for the aesthetic, the look of it, um, but it does create a little more uh, break angle for the the uh, the nut and the strings, you know. So it gives it a little more, a little bendier of a feel, a little more play, a little more slinkiness to it, which I like, um, but not much. It's not going to change the feel entirely of it, but it is really nice to look at. It does make restringing a lot more annoying, um, which I didn't consider one bit until I did it, and then I had to restring. I was like, hmm, this kind of sucks, but it's not that bad, and it looks cool, so I'm happy with it. Um, my buddy who builds guitars, uh, Eric Freestyle, I'll link his channel in there, go check him out. I do a bunch of videos with him. Um, he put a treble bleed in this. When, day one, when I first got it, he cracked it open, which was, this is my first brand new guitar I've ever bought. And, uh, that made me fairly anxious, but he's good at what he does. And we put a treble bleed in, so I don't know what nerdy way to describe it. All I know is when, you know, you're at 10, you have a tone, you dial it down to 8, you have the same tone, but just quieter. Dial it down to 4, same tone, quieter, which I like. Um, and it still does have some dynamic properties, like if I have a, a TS-10 plus the the uh, Klon, I can dial it back and it's still going to loose it, or lessen the, the the drive sort of to it, but it keeps that same tonal quality, just lower volume, if that makes sense. But that's my dead spec. Dead spec. Um, I need to get a uh, Stratoblaster output, which uh, I don't know if they make those with the PRS sort of Silver Sky bulge part. I'd imagine they do. I don't know enough about it. But I love that output jack. Me and the buddy who put this treble bleed in and builds guitars, we were talking about that a couple days ago. How fantastic that output jack for the Silver Skies are. Yeah, I can't live without it now. Any normal strat, it's like, ugh. To like dig a well to get the, the cable out. Where this, you just go bing bonk, it's out. Another thing I did, um, as you can see, is install this install. I screwed in this DiMarzio uh, quick release strap. I saw John Mayer have it on his guitar, and in true Mayer boy fashion, I was like, I have to get that. It's like 30 bucks, I think. Great, great strap. I never have to worry about this coming off. Um, I used to have a 335, and I had these little rubber strap locks that kind of slid over the... It was very nerve-wracking, thinking that it might fall. I, you could, I could drop this, dangle it off a building. I'm not worried it's going to fall. These are sturdy, and it just looks cool, man. And I love this color. Fits really well with the moon white, I believe is the color on the silver sky with the moon white. So yeah, I'm happy with that. Uh, and this little frog here is a gift from a 
special gal a while ago, so it's still around, it's still hanging out, it'll be there till the end of time. And I like this this vibe. It looks nice. It's a good balance. And I think it'll be, you know, 100% once I get the Strata Blaster, um, among many other things. You could go forever upgrading it, but I do want to get the uh, locking PRS tuners as well, which I don't have, and they don't come in the Silver Sky SE. So, yeah. And I think I want to block the trim. I don't know. I could ramble for hours, so let's cut it there. <laughs> Thank you. 